My channel and all its content are for an adult audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Versus. Before we get started, G.I. Joe, a real American hero. One of my all-time favorite toy lines. Just throwing it out there. Just letting you guys know. And of course, my favorite character is right in front of us. Tommy Arashikagi, also known as Storm Shadow. Now, I'm a child of the 80s, and like most kids my age, we were absolutely obsessed with the ninja. As you can tell, I still am. I remember being obsessed with Shokazugi and his trilogy of films that I watched until the tape wore out. Enter the Ninja, Revenge of the Ninja, and Ninja 3, The Domination. It's then no surprise to anybody that my all-time favorite character in G.I. Joe is Storm Shadow. Not Snake Eyes, but Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow first came to life to me in the Sunbow cartoon where he was a villain. He was a cobra, plain and simple. He was a bad guy. But where I really fell in love with Storm Shadow was in the Marvel comic written by Larry Hama, where we find out that Storm Shadow is not a bad guy after all. He was simply trying to avenge his uncle, the Hardmaster, who was killed by an agent of Cobra, who we don't know until many, many issues later. But basically, Tommy joins the Cobra organization, basically going undercover and trying to sniff out who did kill his uncle. He finds that out way down the line, but I'm not going to spoil that for you here. It's a fantastic story. But enough with my condensed, condensed history lesson on Storm Shadow. We're here simply to put two of the figures against each other. Now I have the original 1984 Storm Shadow. And this one here, in this case, is actually my one from when I was a child. He is very discolored in yellow, but I put him in this case just to kind of keep him separate from everything. Because he has such a special place in my heart. This is my newer, almost white version of the 84 Storm Shadow. He's not quite all white, but he's getting there. We're going to pit him against the 2007 Storm Shadow from the G.I. Joe Real American Hero 25th Anniversary line. Now this one-on-one, -on -one I think, is not going to be as simple as I make it out to be. But there's only one way to find out. Let's head into the light box where we face Storm Shadow versus Storm. Oh, I always loved it in the cartoon when Storm Shadow and Spirit fought each other. It was just awesome. Pretty strange how they didn't really make Snake Eyes Storm Shadow's enemy in the cartoon. It was said because Snake Eyes was a silent character that it wouldn't be that interesting for television. I think that's kind of silly, but uh, I do love a spirit, so I'm glad those two got to fight. But I would have loved to see Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow go at it cartoon style. All right, we have both Storm Shadows side by side. We have the 2007 and the 1984 Storm Shadow. These are both version one. There's been many different versions of Storm Shadow throughout the years, many different costumes. This is the very first version of Storm Shadow, his first ninja outfit. But before we break down the figure and take a look at all their accessories, I actually want to go through the card art. So let's do that right now. Okay, we have the 2007 Storm Shadow sealed on card here. I wish, I wish I had the 84 on card, but I don't, guys, unfortunately. That's kind of one of my grails that I've been hunting for all these years. But anyone who collects G.I. Joe figures knows that the very first version of Storm Shadow, actually most versions of Storm Shadow are very expensive, especially sealed on card. But I wanted to show you guys this because uh, Hector Greedo, who's the uh, artist who did this beautiful painting here. He did most of the Real American Hero artwork. It just needs to be shown off because it is gorgeous. For the most part, this is the same art, apart from, of course, the G.I. Joe being reflective here and the 25th anniversary, as we can see in the corner. And of course, he is the Cobra enemy, codenamed Storm Shadow. But let's take a look at that Hector Greedo art and how amazing. This is the ultimate version of the ninja 
in, in my mind. This is exactly what I wanted to be when I was a kid, <laughs> and maybe now. And we'll just quickly flip it over here, and here's some more figures in the 25th anniversary line. We're not going to go through all these because this is all about Storm Shadow. And we get to my favorite part of the Joe packaging, which is the file card. Now this is a game changer. This changed the way action figures were seen in my eyes. The file cards for the Joes were written by Larry Hama, the same gentleman who did the Marvel run of the G.I. Joe comic book and continues actually to write G.I. Joe to this day. And they were a game changer. They gave life to all these characters and they really helped me decide which ones were my favorite. So again, this is the 25th anniversary card here, but what I want to do actually, Storm Shadow back, is I want to go through the different version one Storm Shadow file cards that I have. So here we have the 25th anniversary one cut out there. And put that one aside. We have the Canadian one. So this is my original file card for my childhood Storm Shadow that I still have. And we can quickly see uh, that's as much as the card art that I have <laughs> for this figure. Again, hopefully someday I have the whole thing. Uh, there's the swivel arm battle grip. Awesome. But we can see the Canadian card is quite different because it's bilingual. So what you're going to see is not a lot of description. So we see the quote but we don't see a lot of the description of the actual character that's on the American card. So Storm Shadow is the Cobra Ninja. Primary military specialty is Assassin. Secondary specialty is Intelligence. Birthplace is classified. Now this is a quote. The great ninja Assassin clans disappeared 100 years ago. If they were wiped out, nobody took credit for it. If they're still around, who are they working for? So that is the Canadian card. And here is the American card. Again, we'll flip that over real quick. See, everything was bigger because I didn't have to stick multiple languages on it. So we have the full description by Larry Hama here. Storm Shadow can trace his family history through 30 generations of assassins. He can scale sheer walls with bare hands and feet, move with blinding speed, and endure unspeakable hardships and pain. Qualified expert in the longbow, the samurai sword, throwing stars, nunchaku sticks, nunchucks, and he is an 8th degree black belt in 5 martial arts. And then we have the same quote. So that's some great writing. And this also helped bring Storm Shadow to life for me. As Larry's writings helped bring most of the Joes to life for me, gave them all personalities. It was such a game changer for action figures. All right, it's comparison time. Now let's go through both figures and their accessories. Okay, both versions have all their accessories laid out side by side. And let's start out with the 2007, shall we? So we'll start with Storm Shadow's bow. This guy here is nice and sturdy. Old school, just regular old ninja bow. One solid piece of plastic, no paint applications, but uh, really nice. I like how sturdy it is. We're going to go inward. Now, these Storm Shadows pretty much have the same accessories, save for maybe one or two. Now, this little tiny dagger is really cool. It's got some paint applications on it that you can see are unfortunately worn out on mine, but uh, this wear mark here is because this little dagger goes in the front of his belt, which is a really nice plus there. there one of his swords. And I don't know if you guys can see or not, but try and get as close as I can yeah I can't get too close but right there is the clan symbol of the Arashikagi so Storm Shadow's ninja clan is engraved on both his swords here that's just a really really nice extra piece of detail big big fan of that this is longer sword 
the symbol again. Sorry, it's a little hard to see, but it is engraved there. Right there. We've got, looks like two paint applications, the silver and the gold, and the plastic itself is black. Yeah, so you're starting to get some wear on the tip there. But his weapons are, are really, really nice. And the new modern Joes, I actually don't want to call them modern Joes, I guess. The 25th anniversary Joes all come with their own stands. And when I first started collecting these a bunch of years ago, I didn't really understand why. It's a cool addition, but after you get them out and you start displaying them, you start to really understand why these figures need stands and I'll get to that but that is cool nonetheless the Cobra symbol there and codename Storm Shadow okay now the weapons for the classic Storm Shadow Let's start with this now this is Storm Shadow's bow. It is one of the most fragile G.I. Joe weapons you're ever going to come across. I never put this in my Storm Shadow's hand and I never put it in his backpack either. It is so fragile and thin. Most examples of Storm Shadows that I've seen over the years of collecting that actually have this bow still, uh, the string is snapped. So I definitely don't want to do that with mine, so it kind of stays to the side. A nice bow, but uh, it's a little small, and like I said, very fragile. And Storm Shadow has his nunchuck as well, which is nice. I'm not going to say I don't appreciate them putting the nunchuck with it. Uh, it is, again, fragile. It's Mine is very stiff because I haven't bent it. You can. I don't want to really do this but I'll do it a little bit so yeah you can bend it again this weapon never goes in my storm shadows hand just because of the fragility of it it stays to the side but it is a nice addition and ninjas need weapons man they need all their weapons the more weapons the better now my short sword whatever you want to call this I call it the shorter sword is bent Unfortunately, it's still intact, but it's got a nasty curve to it, and I just need to use a blow dryer and kind of just bend it back to shape. I just haven't got around to that yet. So all the classic Storm Shadow weapons are just one solid piece of plastic without paint applications. That I don't mind. I mean, I think it suits the character. We have his long sword right there. This one's in better shape than my short one. <laughs> but this is Storm Shadow's main weapon. The weapon that mine had multiple fights with with Snake Eyes. And again, compared to later versions, these weapons are a little small in my opinion. And a little flimsy. But they, they definitely look cool in his backpack. Which is shown here. This is Storm Shadow's backpack. It's iconic, and it's one of my favorite Joe accessories of all time. We can see here it's one solid piece of plastic, not painted at all. We have the arrow quivers here, and then these little these little knobs here, or hooks, whatever you want to call them, you actually can put the bow and arrow on there for displaying purposes, but I'm too chicken to be honest. Like I said, the, the bow itself is so fragile, I'm not chancing it. And you can crack that open gently. And this backpack does open up. Now I've seen some people also put the bow in here, which is a little bit safer, but still not chancing it. And we can see the arrow is better. There's the tips on the bottom there. And some really nice molded on details there. I'm just such a huge fan of this backpack. But again, like everything from this version of Storm Shadow, it's very fragile. Just want to be very, very careful, especially when you're opening it. Now let's get to the actual figures. 2007. 
Look at this guy. Look at that expression. There is no doubt in my mind that the detail on this figure is absolutely incredible. He looks mean. He looks like he's ready to get in a fight and take on the whole G.I. Joe team by himself. Now, before we get into the articulation and the paint and all that, um, Storm Shadow's backpack here, it does come off. You can slip it off, but I'm going to get into the, the big flaws, in my opinion, of these anniversary figures. So I was going to save it to that segment, but I'll just say these, these characters are very fragile. And I'm not, uh, I'm not risking taking this off, but this looks like it does come off. But there's his backpack, and we see we have a gorgeous, gorgeous Arashikage symbol right there. We have the arrows painted, and the backpack is a solid black piece. It's pretty much the same scheme as the original. There's the Arashikage symbol again and again. Okay. So we'll get to the head, and I love the face sculpt, and the way the head turns, so it doesn't just go side by side. You can move it all the way around, up and down, for posing, like so. We have, of course, his ninja outfits. I don't know the technical term, so I'm just going to call it a ninja outfit with that cobra symbol that is blood red and that is just sticking out so nicely going down to his arms and here's my big problem with the 25th anniversary joe's first off the plastic it just doesn't feel right to me it feels really really almost cheap and that's really too bad because the design of the figure himself, the way he looks, is awesome. I mean, this is Storm Shadow right from the comic book. So I love the way he looks. I just don't like the plastic and I don't like how flimsy the figure is. So my arm is is good for the joints, but if, if you want to see what I'm talking about, let's look at the leg here. Look at that. I have a very flimsy leg with this Storm Shadow. And this is not from any kind of play, I promise you. This is just from posing. It's just come loose, and I've, I've tried to tighten it, and a lot of these 25th anniversary figures are like that. They just, they, they fall apart quickly. That's my big flaw with this design, but I'm not gonna harp on that all day. I've said my piece, now let's continue. Now I've always said that the way that this figure looks is just awesome. I don't think you're gonna get a better looking Storm Shadow figure with this version one style. But again, it's very flimsy and it's just incredibly fragile. So we'll do a 360 degrees with all their accessories on for both figures so you can take a look without my hands in the way. But in the meantime, let's get to the original 1984 Storm Shadow. I don't know about you guys, but when you were playing Joe's when you were a kid, whoever brought out this figure, you knew. You knew that your squad was in trouble. This Storm Shadow is responsible for decimating hundreds of Joe's, Mobats, Sky Strikers. Yeah, he's just one badass figure. So this one here is not my original this is one that I have kind of Frankenstein and pieced together throughout the years. As you can see, I've replaced a lot of the parts. The torso is gorgeous with that uh, Cobra symbol, just perfect. But the head is definitely yellowed on this version and the right arm as well. But what can I say? This is a nice stiff version of Storm Shadow and already I feel better. I feel better holding him. He's just a lot more solid. The plastic is more solid. He's more stiff. Like, he's so stiff. Honestly, guys, the, the original Joes, they're just put together better. Everyone knows this iconic figure, so let's quickly go down all his amazing features. So we have him with the ninja mask, 
going down to his sash and he has that dagger there and two ninja stars that are molded on but painted which is nice again that cobra symbol that just yeah when joe see this they they freak out because they know they're about to get it gonna go down to the boots here and i actually prefer the boots on this original storm shadow better i like just the pure white it just kind of stands out better for me and it just works better for the costume so out of the two accessory wise i do prefer the 2007 i like the updated weapons with the paint applications and they're just a bit sturdier compared to the 1984 now let's put the storm shadows together and take a look at them 360 degrees Okay, and now the moment we've been waiting for, which Storm Shadow will emerge victorious? Before I come to my decision, I do have to give a shout out to my original Storm Shadow right here. This is my childhood one. And he is yellow, but he is absolutely beautiful. And I was actually on a show a couple months ago with Mr. Larry Hama himself, which was a complete honor. And I got to show Larry Storm Shadow and explain why he's my favorite character and how much I love G.I. Joe number 26. And I got to show Larry my actual Storm Shadow. So that was really, really cool. So I wanted to stick this guy in the video. The winner of Storm Shadow versus Storm Shadow is... The original 1984 version one of Storm Shadow. Now this was a very difficult decision I do love the 25th anniversary line. I love collecting them. But like I said, there is no doubt that it, they just feel cheap to me. The plastic feels cheap. The joints get really loose and they're very difficult to repair. I think aesthetically, the 2007 Storm Shadow looks closer to the comic book, which, you know, holds a place in my heart, of course. But I cannot deny my nostalgic feelings and just how much time I've spent on this figure here and how much I love the design. This was the very first Storm Shadow that was ever created in a toy form and I just can't deny how much I love him. I wish I wish the accessories were a little more sturdy, like I said, the bow and the nunchuck. I wish the swords were a little longer, but yeah, that, that's not a huge deal. Just the iconic look of this figure and the way it makes me feel every single time I look at it, it brings me right back to my childhood. In my opinion, there isn't another G.I. Joe in the world that comes even close to how cool Storm Shadow is. Yes, not even Snake Eyes. Thanks for tuning in, guys, on another episode of Versus and taking a trip down memory lane with me. Until next time, guys, take care. No prison can hold Cobra! Is there a prison big enough, strong enough to hold the Cobra Commander? He's the enemy! He's escaping! He's, He's the, the enemy, enemy of G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe! My Cobra and Destro! Our new team is ready, Commander! No, Destro, not quite! What does Cobra Commander mean? Find out in the further adventures of G.I. Joe from Marvel Comics!